Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to configure email using a Gmail account. Um, here's one I've already created. Um, basically one thing that one or two things that you need to consider first is you need to make sure that the IMAP or pop emails enabled on in this instance I've enabled IMAP email already um, I'm the difference between IMAP and pop pop tends to download email once um, onto a i.e. a computer or mobile phone um, IMAP tends to synchronize all of your mail folders onto several devices um, and it gives you it gives you a good option for backup say for instance your machine stops working you can always go into a webmail or use use a mobile phone device to to continue to get your emails whilst you get your machine um, looked at or repaired um, also interestingly enough they've got configuration instructions for each um, version of Outlook um, Windows Mail, Thunderbird etc and even mobile phone devices um, I'm just now going to proceed to go into Outlook now that we have looked at um, enabling the correct mail um, me downloading method okay um, just creating a new Outlook profile this is Outlook 2010 um, we are a lot of people tend to want to try and type in their name and email address in there and expect it to work this usually only works on exchange platforms so um, you need to manually click manually configure um, server settings and your next option here is by default internet email and then you'll type in your name I'm going to go for PC serve and then email address is and then you'll go for IMAP and the email server is imap.gmail.com and then the outgoing email is smtp.gmail.com you always type in your full email address and your password and then the next option is to make sure you do SSL this is, this only usually counts for Google and Virgin Media and Sky there are some other providers that require SSL um, you also switch on SMTP authentication otherwise when you send out your emails it can be blocked to spam and some providers um, just don't, plain don't accept emails unless you've got that switched on um, if you click next it automatically tests the settings whether they're correct or not and it will send a test email and that's like everything I've done there and it's creating a profile now and that's the test email and if we go reply I believe that should hopefully send out an email but we've already tested that the incoming works um, it, as you can see here yeah, that email that I've just sent out um, just come in as you can see here you've got all of the subfolders and it's synchronized with everything here you if you go here into bin that shows approximately 19 emails and if you go here you've got 19 emails now with pop it will no it will not do that it will download pretty much everything that's in the inbox into the inbox um, I may do another uh, a demo of that um, in another tutorial um, also another thing you need to be wary about is the sent email to make sure that it's pointing to the correct sent email items box um, Outlook 2010 is quite clever at setting the correct um, mail folder for the sent mail 
but some versions of Outlook do not set this up so you would have to go back in to the email account settings and manually set the folder um, just so when you send out emails it appears in the correct place and in here as well okay um, do leave comments at the end of this tutorial and um, we, we shall do some more tutorials in the not too distant future